Soundbeats, my favorite brand when talking about earbuds. The Soundbeats T2 were one of the best Soundbeats ever released. Today, we are going to have a look at the Soundbeats 3 and see if they continue to be the best. Welcome to the review of the Soundbeats 3 wireless earbuds. Hello, Tiago here. Welcome or welcome back. And if it's welcome, we do a lot of therapy visit unboxing like this one. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. With this said, let's start the review of the Soundbeats T3 and I will tell you if you should upgrade from the T2 the best ever Soundbeats earbuds. Let's jump in! Let's start with the price. The Soundbeats T3 have a price tag of £39.99 and when comparing with the T2 we can see that they are £10 cheaper. For the US the price tag is £39.99 and comparing with the T2 the difference is around $9 cheaper. I will leave links on the video description, please check them out for best price and product information. Moving on to the design, we can see that they are so different and probably was the mistake from Soundbeats on calling them T3, just because people will compare them with the T2, but we'll get into that later. Comparing the two cases, we can see that the T3 have a matte black color, with the case being on a shell-like design. On the front we have now only one LED that will be green for 50-100% battery, yellow for 10-49% battery and red, meaning that the battery is less than 10%. On the right side we have the Type-C charging port and on top of the case the Soundpitch logo. Although this case is bigger, I prefer this design. The lid opening is nice and smoothly with a nice hinge at the end of the stroke to hold the lid up and that adds a premium feel to the earbuds when you open them. With the lid open, inside you can see the Soundbeats branding and again that adds a premium feel to the case. Now that we have opened the case, you can see that the design is different and that Soundbeats for the T3 has chosen to go back to the stem design. So, on the bottom of the stem you have a mic. More on the mics later with the Carl Sound Test. Going up on the touch control area, we have the Soundbeats branding instead of the logo and the LED. On the back of the stem, we have the contact for charging and another mic. Comparing the earbuds, you can see that the T3 are a lot smaller, but they are different because of the stem. The battery life you get on the T3 is a huge drop from the T2. On the T3, you'll get with the ANC off around 5 hours on the earbuds and 15 hours using the case. If you choose to use the ANC on, you will get 4 hours on the earbuds and 12 hours using the case. Let's not forget that the T2 battery life was around 10 hours on the earbuds and 30 hours using the case. The T3 earbuds will take 1.5 hours to charge and the case 2 hours. There is not fast charge as well. But let's not forget that these earbuds cost less than $40. Moving on to the features side, the T3 and T2 are so different. You will get on the T3 the chipset BES 2500iZ with Bluetooth 5.2 with SBC, AAC and MP3 audio codecs. The main difference from the T2 is that on the T3 the active noise cancellations use feedforward technology instead of the hybrid technology. The feedforward is more a lower end active noise cancellation, but again, do keep in mind that the T3 is less expensive than the T2. The IPX rating is also different, with the T3 having IPX4 instead of the IPX5 on the T2. But, in my opinion, that is not a problem because you will be able to use the T3 on the gym and outside even if you got caught under the rain. In my opinion, when talking about sound signature, I can easily forget about some of the shortcomings on this pair. And in my opinion, the sound on this overhaul is really good. It's not as good as the T2, 
but still a very dynamic sounding pair of earbuds. With a very booming low end, they have a nice punch to it, with a subwoofer type effect. The mids are pushed forward and doesn't matter, the type of voice always sounded up front. They have a good treble as well, but sometimes can be a bit too harsh. The bass is so strong on the T3 and never seems to take a dive even though Ribble hits very high notes. Moving on to the sound stage, they are not a very open sounding earbuds because of the bass is so boomy on this pair. I would say it sounds like you are in a medium sized room. The T3 have 4 mics and claim to have crystal clear sound, so please be the judge on the next core quality test, outside and inside. Right guys, so we're now outside and this is the sound of the Soundpeach T3 outside from microphones and clear sound. And we're gonna go inside now and continue the review inside and let me know in the comments what you guys think about the sound. So this is the sound of the Soundpeach inside, uh, it's a quiet ambient. Uh, there's no noises around, so yeah, it's nice. I listened to the sound outside and it was clear, so I'm pretty sure these earbuds would be great for phone calls inside or outside. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And let's go back to the review. Watching videos on Netflix and YouTube is not a problem, and it's lag free. With gaming, there is a slight lag there. So, for gaming, there is other options out there, and we have covered some here on the channel. But for any other type of media, this is an excellent option to have. So, with all the Soundbeats earbuds controls are very comprehensive, and you get everything that you need for your media controls, but with the T3, the option to go back to the previous track is not there. The reason they did this is the function that you have to the right earbud to get your track go forward, when you press and hold to the left earbud to do the opposite, that's where it allows you to switch between your noise cancelling mode, your ambient mode and your normal modes. So because of that, they sacrifice the ability to go back and that is a bit disappointing because we are used to being able to control everything with our Soundpeach earbuds. The Soundspeed 33 are a very good sounding earbuds, but I don't think they are a good sequel from the T2. The treble needs to come down a little bit, and the ANC is not as good, but let's be honest, competing with the T2 is almost impossible. And that's it guys, this was my review on the Soundpeach T3. A great sounding earbuds, but not as the T2, but it was quite impossible, it was a lost battle. The, the T2 are the best ones in my opinion, ever. So guys. If you want to buy them, T3, the link will be in the video description. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. With this said, I wish you guys a lovely day and I'll catch you later.